So today we are going to do something different. We are going to look at the seven days of creation and see what they are called in the Hebrew. And we'll see that there is some interesting pattern going on there. So it begins with Yom Echad, which means day one or one day. Echad doesn't mean first. There is another word for first. So Echad just means one. But then comes the following days, which are called Sheni, Shelishi, Revi'i, Hamishi. So these are a second, a third, a fourth, and a fifth day so um, something happened here on the second day that made days not just separate things but that they could follow one another also and the thing that happened on this day was that God said let there be light and there was light so in some way light contributes to make days to follow one another but there are no definite articles in front of these days so it just means a second day and so on but then um, the next days do have definite articles in front of them and these are hashishi and hashevi so these are the sixth day and the seventh seventh day. So um, something happened here also on the sixth day that made these days definite also. And basically there were two things that happened on this day. First, the living creatures on the earth were made but they already were made living creatures in the water and in the sky. But then there also was the man that was uh, created. So in some sense, so in some way, um, definite days are contributed to by men to make them definite. There are these are not just a time period, but also contributed to by men. 